Members of the public from all over Britain have come to sell, believing they own something so special it could make them a fortune. First in, hoping to sell for big money, floor restorer Gerard Grover. Gerard. Hello, Anita. What are you here to sell today? Hopefully I'll be selling a Francis Bacon painting with a big tear in the middle. Why has it got a huge rip in the middle? Well, if he wasn't happy with a work, he would, you know, literally take a knife to it and uh, they would just tear out, you know, chunks of the painting. They've been come to known as uh, mutilated works of Francis Bacon. And how did you get your hands on one? I used to pack Francis Bacon paintings for a company years ago. They were worth millions of pounds. I just thought, when I saw um, an advertisement for an auction with ripped Francis Bacon paintings, I put a bid in and luckily it worked out. How much did you pay for it? It was 4000 plus plus costs. I'm excited for you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Francis Bacon is one of Britain's best-known and most bankable artists. His expressionist paintings, like Study for a Portrait, are shocking and dark. The subject looks like he's caught in a nightmare, leaving you with a feeling of horror and despair. But that doesn't stop him selling. Although he started life as an interior decorator, in 2008, one of his paintings sold for £44 million. With most of Gerard's portrait destroyed, will it be worth anything to the dealers? Oh. Well, he was pretty resolute about what he was doing, wasn't he? That's for sure. Bacon produced around 600 paintings in his lifetime, as well as about 100 which he slashed because he didn't think they were good enough. These don't come up too often. Some of them have a lot more detail, don't they, where you see a tie or you see a collar or you see part of the head, but they're also a lot smaller. And there were the full-body ones with the head taken off. Let's hear about it. Yeah. I bought it a few years ago at auction. I took it home, never told the wife. Got it home, she went absolutely crazy. Well done. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, that's that right. That a teacher. Well, you know, I bought it, I thought to myself, you know, Francis Bacon, you know, it was a good opportunity to, to, to get one of his works, and basically, um, I'm here today, hopefully, to sell it, you know, for some life-changing money, you know, for the wife and the kids, and uh, let, her, let her understand that I was right in the first place to do so, you know? How long ago did you buy it, John? It was in 2007. 2007. I read about it all in the papers. Yeah, we all... Tur right. Turned up in my works van. I thought, oh, well, you know... I'll, I'll give it a try, you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, the whole art brigade turned up, all in the flash cars, and it just went mad. It just went absolutely crazy. When I see how ridiculous the prices were going, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just said, look, I'd like to leave a bid. She said, how much? I said, £4,000. She said, on what? I said, on anything. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not fussed. I didn't expect it, you know, to be a successful I bid. That's brilliant. The dealers retire to their four rooms to consider how much they'll pay for the slashed canvas. Every single one of the dealers is going to make you an offer. Okay. But that offer is only good, Gerard, for as long as you're in that room. As soon as you decide to walk out, it's gone. OK. Gerard needs to decide which of the dealers he thinks will pay the most. Prices for Francis Bacon have truly skyrocketed over the last three years. If an artist destroys a painting, it should be destroyed. And we, the public, have a duty not to trade in it and yet this painting is so compelling. That canvas stands testimony as a historical document to the way that man was and the way he painted and the way he acted. He really only defaced his near-perfect pictures. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. I'm very excited by it. It's a kind of smashed Sid Vicious guitar, and I love it, and now it's all about the price. Watch my lips. You're going to see mega competition on this one. Gerard paid £4,800 for his slashed Francis Bacon canvas. Now he wants to sell it to pay off his mortgage. Who do you think you want to go and see first? I think I'd like to see Emma first. None of the dealers have any idea of the order they're being seen in, as this may affect their bid. Gerard's wife thinks his painting is worthless tat. Will millionaire dealer Emma Hawkins prove her wrong? Hello, Gerard. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm no, fine, thanks. I can only remember one story about Francis Bacon. A friend was walking with him down the street. They went past a gallery and they saw one of his pictures in the window. He went in, bought it, took it out of the gallery and destroyed it then and there on the street. Um, 
I'm a woman, and I know you would like to prove one woman wrong, being your missus, so I would like to offer you £9,000. Right. Um, I would be looking for quite a bit more than that, so... What would you be looking for? A lot, lot more. Well, I know, I know a guy that bought a picture from that auction. Yeah. I know that he was looking for 100,000. Right. And the picture was half the size of that. Yeah. But at the same time, obviously, you know, I'd be open to suggestion. Would 25,000 buy it? No. No. Thirty. Unfortunately, you're getting very warm, but you're not. No. Let me think. Um, but I think actually thirty thousand is my final offer. Sure, sure. Unfortunately, I'll have to say no. Well, I must say I'd love to sell it to you, but not for that price. Thirty-two and a half. I mean, I'd be straight with you. I mean, if, you, if your offer was fifty thousand, that is the low end figure that I had in mind. You're being offered something that, had it not been, you know, torn, mutilated like it is, ten million, twenty million pound, mm -hmm. and I can just imagine somebody somewhere would pay you good money for that. Would 48,000 buy it? 48,000? Well, is that an offer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes? Yeah. OK, 48,000. Thank Do you. Do you know much. what? I never thought I would give in so easily, but that is great, yeah. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gerard, first person you went to see, what happened? She's blown me away, yeah. You've sold it? Yeah, I've to sold Emma. it. I can't believe it, yeah. For how much? 48,000. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> do you want to give me a hug? I know, I do, <laughs> I do. Oh, it is. <laughs> I know, it's unbelievable. Your wife didn't even like that painting, and she certainly didn't know how much she'd spent on it. No, that's right. Even, even as we speak now, I've never ever told her what I paid for it, but um, I think she won't mind now. I'm going to clear my mortgage, I'm going to stuff some money away, for my, for my daughter for a university, and um, I don't know, everything would just be great, yeah. How do you fancy finding out what the other bids might have been? Well, um, I suppose I've got to know. Gerard has cut a life-changing £48,000 deal, but there were three rooms he didn't go into and three offers he didn't hear. I'd now like you to reveal how much you would have offered for it. Jeff. £5,000. Gordon? £12,000. Andrew? I'm not saying, but it's going to be a lot more than that. Go on, go on, let me know. Did you get north of 80000 for it? Oh, well. Don't say no more. OK. Gerard, can you now reveal how much you sold your ripped Francis Bacon canvas for? I sold it to Emma for 48000 In 2008, part of a slashed Francis Bacon sold at auction for £12,000. Dealer Emma Hawkins paid Gerard four times that for his. There was something inside me that just inspired me to spend £48,000 on what I believe to be a wonderful piece of work. But if Gerard had held his nerve, he could have done even better in Andrew Lamberty's room. I would have liked to own that thing if only for a short amount of time, handled it and moved it on and found it in a new home, although I would have preferred to put it in my home. <laughs>